Welcome back to another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the top 10 best apps this week, number 3. 59. Just like the good old days where the best live wallpaper is making it back for this video. In the background, if you see past the glare, you can see it moving very nicely to the back. And what's nice about it is you can change the colors for the background or make it go to the time frame of the day. If it's daytime, it'll look like this. And if it's nighttime, it'll get darker. Let's look at it one more time. Look at the background. It moves. It gives it a 3D effect. Also, if it's raining, it's going to show rain, snow, sun. You get the idea. Number two, Stitch and Share. Stitch and Share allows you to combine screenshots together. And we see the little bubble here. If we take a screenshot right now, that's exactly what we can share, right? Just that one photo. What if I want to share more than just that? I can click on this. You can see this little square there. Now, I can see that I can scroll up to this point. And it's going to take a screenshot by itself. Now let me go up one more. Just too far. And there we go. And let's just do one last one. And it gives a little subtle vibration. You can press on that. And it's stitched together. And you can see that's one long picture that we can share. You could also still customize it. You can change stuff, color stuff, highlight stuff, erase stuff. So you don't see like phone numbers. Number three, app lock. If you want to lock certain applications with a fingerprint, this application is going to allow you to pick which ones you want to lock with the fingerprint. Right now you can see these are the applications that are locked and the ones that are unlocked will be here. So if I want to go into my settings, it won't allow me to without having to put my fingerprint. I can press back, but it won't let me go. So as soon as I press my fingerprint there, it'll unlock. So it's a nice way of keeping kids, snoopy people out of your phone. So I'm going to go in Burger King. I can't get in there because I need a fingerprint, but you can change it to the pattern and do the pattern if you like. Number four, background video recorder. Yep, this application allows you to record secretly like a spy. You could also hide these videos from the gallery, enter passwords so that no one can really see these secret videos that you have recording. So once you're ready to record a video, click on that and you're going to feel a vibration. There's nothing visually showing you that it's recording other than that little background video recording click to stop. I left it on there, but you can move that, make it hide, but it's recording right now. Obviously, your phone screen is off. Now I'm going to twiddle my fingers and let's hit stop. You'll feel a vibration and there's the video. Nothing visually showing you that it's recording. Now I'm going to twiddle my fingers and the screen is off, but you can see me doing that. It's all off. You can go to a timer, you can set how long you want it to record only for, what camera you want it to record. You can schedule it to like leave it somewhere and then it, by a certain time it's going to turn on and record. Number five, kin screen. Those of you guys who want to customize the time off display, like a certain time your screen will turn off. We're going to allow it, we're going to turn it on, you can see this motion. Your phone will stay awake as long as you're moving your phone. That's the motion version. If you don't move your phone, it'll start saying, okay, you're not touching it, I'm going to start dimming the screen down. If I cover the proximity sensor, you can see it turn red. So if I turn the screen off and I wave my hand, it's going to turn on the screen automatically. That's very nice. If you don't want to touch the phone, you don't have to tap to wake. Or do by uncovering the proximity sensor. You can move your phone, double tap, nothing's going to happen until you remove your finger and it's going to turn on. Number six, 1600. Now this is a fun kind of app where you can use a dollar. I Hopefully I can use the, the $2 bill here. And don't ask why this one's ripped. But what you do is you grab this, aim the camera at the dollar bill, and it'll say here, the White House 1600 is a new way for kids and playful Americans of all ages to learn about what happens at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. I apologize, I spent my last dollar, but I'll be showing you a clip here from the developer's page behind this cool idea called AR. What happens, you can move the camera around, and you can see it gives you a little visual. It's kind of cool to test out for yourself or show your kids of what's happening, give them some little history but definitely go try it out for yourself. Number seven, Quartz. Quartz gives you news and facts in text messaging form. Kind of like you're talking to an artificial intelligence. We send you messages and you can respond below tapping the buttons that appear. People who swear like sailors are more trustworthy according to an international team of researchers. I put I effing knew it and then it goes on and I'll say anything else. That means give me something else of a news. The formerly hip clothing manufacturer has been purchased for parts of bankruptcy auctioned by Canada's Gildan Activewear. You can click on this, see what it does. So you get a little information like that that you can play around with. Definitely, if you don't know what to ask or what to look forward to, this will give you some random facts and recent news that you might be interested in. Number eight, Canopy. If you love shopping, but you don't know what to buy, because you're like, okay, I got lots of Christmas gift cards, what am I going to spend it on? You'll be able to quickly 
go onto this application and see what's trending and you can go most popular what people are really liking and trying to buy this is a little stereo wi-fi music system so if you click into it you can see how much it costs doesn't give you extra pictures you can make a conversation on here i'm the only one who made it and if you want to go into it click on the 190 it takes you to the application if you have it and then you can look through it and get more pictures and read more about it i'm thinking about picking this up if i buy this you're going to see me reviewing it here on my channel cool jumbo key magnet holder and then the first thing that i saw that i really liked eight years i've had this little knife that i keep it'd be kind of cool to see a key form knife let me know in the comments below if you would like to see weird products like this reviewed also on my channel number nine tool Whiz photos i've been through a lot of photo editing applications and this one took the cake it does it all go to the tools and then we're gonna get a lot of cropping rotating healing drawing magic blending a lot of lens correction lasso and then go into the toning you can change the colors add a lot of filters it even has prisma and then it changes it up and then you get this type of look look at that and you can see there's quite a few more it would take me literally 10 minutes or more to cover what this application can do there's the portraits there's effects there's a, a lot of different tunings and you can smooth out imperfections in your face you can blur the background soft glow put makeup pixar used to be my number one but this just has a little bit extra and easier to use so I have to say that this is a new king for me go try it out for yourself and number 10 we have AP 15 that's it what you're looking at here is the home launcher literally there's no app icons there's no secret little swooshes anywhere there's no widgets all you get to see is everything in writing if you hold down longer you get to settings you can go to preferences you can change the color so if i wanted to change to yellow you can change the wallpaper as well you can also make it more transparent if i want to go right into the play store click on that I forgot I have my lock on it. You see it's in alphabetical order. There's Twitter. Clicking on that opens up Twitter. Now you could hold on to it. Change Twitter app preferences. You can change that color individual by itself. Say you want it to be green. And now you can see that it's different. Let me hold down on the camera. Preference. Change the size. And you can hide it completely. Press OK. The camera's gone, no longer there. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Different than other launchers out there. Simple at the same time. And there you guys have it. These are the top 10 best apps this week brought to you by me, the cool loser. Thank you for watching and supporting. Please like this video as it helps me a lot and share it so that people can discover so that everyone else can benefit on this really cool applications. As you can tell, I'm back on a weekly upload for the top 10 best apps, and I will do a games on the next one. Other than that, I'm on the Google Pixel. I love it. And I will see you guys next time. Later.